In part C we want to find out the inflection points. Let's remember what was an inflection point. Well an inflection point is when the function changes from convex to concave or the other way. So that means that we want to change signs at a critical f second derivative of x equals to zero. Meaning that we want to find out the point where the function is neither convex nor concave and to the left and to the right of that point it should change from one shape to the other. So first step let's make the second order derivative equals to zero. We already calculated it and that was equal to or was it 12x squared minus 4 from here. So we must make 12x squared minus 4 equals to zero. 12x squared minus 4 equals to zero. That means that 12x squared is equal to 4. 12 and 4 cancel out so we have 3x squared equals to 1. Divide both sides by 3, we would have that x squared equals to 1 over 3. And because we have the power of 2, the results would be either plus or minus square root of 1 over 3. Now how can we solve this further? We put it on a number line. And on the number line we give values to the left and to the right of minus 1 over square root of 3 and plus minus um, 1 over square root of 3. So let's, let's write it here. We have negative square root of 1 over 3. We have positive square root of 1 over 3. And we're using it for the second order derivative. And please make sure that we're plugging the values into the second order derivative. That's a common mistake I used to make. I used to put the values back into the initial functions. This one, for instance. Back into the initial function, I would compare there. But we're not checking the function value. We're checking the second order derivative. Does it change sign or not? So plug it back into the 12x squared minus 4. Now what is square root of 1 over 3? Well that's approximately 0 0.57. Approximately 0 0.57. And of course this will be approximately minus 0 0.57. Now let's take a value greater than 0 0.57. Let's say 1. If we plug in 1 into here, we have 12 times 1 squared minus 4, that's 8, and that's a positive number, so we have a positive range over here. What is the value between minus 0 0.57 and 0 0.57? Well, let's take 0, it's in between, so 12 times 0 squared is 0, minus 4 is minus 4, so that would be a negative value over here. And what would be a value less than minus 0 0.57? Well, let's take minus 1, because it's to the left of minus 0 0.57. 12 times minus 1 to the power 2, that's 12 times 1, minus 4 is just uh, 8, so it's again a positive value. So what do we notice? At this, at this point where the second order derivative is 0, we switch signs from positive to negative, from convex to concave, and from concave to convex again. Because we're switching signs, it means that these are actual inflection points. So let's circle them, and yes, minus 1 over square root of 3, plus 1 over square root of 3 are inflection points. Infle yeah, you got the idea, inflection points. In the next video, we'll keep going. We're done here.